So today we're shooting with the new 16 to 35 G Master, and this is the Mark II version. A lot of people have been waiting for this lens because this is the last lens to get updated in the Holy Trinity. So we're gonna shoot with it today. We got a really cool location. We're gonna shoot with Adelia. So let's go. So kind of in the sun, like right here. Yeah, we're gonna do some like wide, some wide posy stuff. Look at the camera again, but tilt your head into the sun a little more, if you can. Yeah, that's really cool. Bring this one, bring your right hand more closer to your knee, so it's facing camera more. Yeah, yeah, exactly. These are fire. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, okay, holding arms up again. Love that. Do you want to turn slightly more on with me? Yeah. Love that. Yes. Ooh, I, I, li I like that angle when you had the head tilted. Just hold that. Yep. I'm gonna punch in a bit here, a little closer. Yeah. Sick. All right, so this new lens finally completes Sony's three big G Master zooms into the second generation. And I feel like this lens has seen the least amount of physical changes compared to those, but it is 20% lighter and 10% shorter. And it comes in at 547 grams with an all new optical design, as well as an 11 blade round aperture for smoother bokeh. Yeah, just in the sliver of light right here. Came right down to your feet now. Nice. Love that. I think we got a lot in here. Let's shoot outside. Just stand right there in the middle of the road. Same pose looking down the road this way. Nice. Love that. I'm gonna get a close up, kind of like uh uh, waist up. Love it. The lighting's much nicer here. So I've owned the original 16 to 35 G Master and I actually ended up selling it to get the F4 power zoom just because I liked how much smaller it was. But uh, Sony did make the new Mark II quite a bit smaller. I think it's 20% lighter as well. And it doesn't extend as far either when you're zooming it. So that's nice to see. And of course they also added the aperture ring to the lens and then you can also de-click or click it if you want to. So if you're transitioning between different types of exposures for video, you have a nice smooth transition. As far as sharpness, it's gonna be sharper corner to corner. They've improved the optical quality. It's got four XD linear motors in it, so it's gonna be fast and silent. Not like the older lens was bad, but it's nice to have, you know, faster autofocus. But uh, yeah, I will take some shots of just like a static subject so you can see the sharpness between the corners because it's definitely improved. And they've also improved the chromatic aberration. You pretty much won't see it now. So this lens does have a minimum focus distance of 8.6 inches. So let's see how close we can get in here. <laughs> it's right on your eye. I'm gonna have to manually focus it though, because I can't get it to stay. Maybe like back against the fence. Looking straight into camera. Nice. It's 
it's awesome to finally see them update this lens. And like I mentioned, I sold my 16 to 35 G master and bought the 16 to 35 F4 power zoom because I just love how small this lens is. And I always find myself stopping down to F4 on the older G master anyway, just to make sure that the corners were sharp. Now, all that said, the original 16 to 35 is still an awesome lens, but this new version is obviously going to have faster autofocus as well, superior image quality, especially when it comes to the corners when you're shooting wide open. All right, that's the end of the video. Thanks to Adela for modeling. She crushed it. I'm really stoked on these shots. Thanks to Rima for the makeup. Thanks to Milos. Thanks to everybody. Thanks to the people that are watching. But that's it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you dislike this video, give it a thumbs down twice. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. And I'll see you guys in the next one.